The man in charge of Porsche's rear-engine sports car says the 911S may not be long for this world, and we have this car to thank. The GTS model, which is a collection of popular equipment on top of a 911S, has proven, well, popular. If the GTS does even better this time around, the S may be deemed unnecessary. Maybe. We'll see. The third run up the growing 991.2911 ladder, the GTS is again available as a Carrera Coupe or convertible with rear or all wheel drive, as well as in the all wheel drive only Targa body style. All versions get the wider rear bodywork normally reserved for all wheel drive 911s. That means they all have the same wider track and, perhaps more important, they look the business. Technically speaking, of course. To paraphrase Rob Reiner in This Is Spinal Tap, why not just make the S faster? Well, that's basically what the GTS is, a more powerful S with a lot of the spend D options people normally put on an S baked in from the start. And it's cheaper, relatively speaking for a $120,000 car, in this package than if you ordered an S a la carte, it's the same way with Porsche's other GTS models. What's different this time around is that the GTS model is arriving early in the cycle, just after the 911's 2017 refresh, which brought turbos to the base cars. Previous GTS 911's have shown up toward the end of a generation, 997, or half generation, 991.1.